guys, in this tutorial I want to teach you how to chuck and how to make it sound like a crispy snare drum. So let's begin. First of all, what is a chuck? Chuck is a percussive technique done with our right hand and it's imitating the snare drum. So in order for you to get the right chuck, I want to break it down into steps. So the first step is when we have an open fist position and we knock on the strings, a simple knock, as if we're knocking on the door. Step two is when the knock changes directions and it starts going a little bit lower, a little bit down towards the first string. So at this point it's very important to pay attention to the thumb, the thumb of the right hand. So when you're going down, so when you're kind of doing this mini strum downwards, the thumb needs to land below the strings because the thumb, that will be the finger that blocks the strings. That's actually the finger that creates this muted sound of the, of the strum. So let's do it again. So let's do the little knock on the strings as if we're knocking, half knocking, half strumming, but we're paying attention to the thumb, making sure that the thumb lands below the first string and touches all the strings, all the open strings. Okay? Now step three. Try to be as lazy as possible with your right hand. So as if you are just throwing the fingers, throwing the entire wrist on the strings. A very lazy motion. Okay? So we started with a knock, right? We started paying attention to our thumb. Thumb goes below the first string, we changed the directions, and we got very lazy. Ideally, what you want to hear when you're chucking is the, a strum, a simple strum of the strings. It doesn't have to be all the strings. You can even focus on the lower two strings, so meaning strings one and two, like a mini motion there, right? And, as I said, very important to Pay attention to your thumb. That's the finger that blocks the strings. We need to have it muted. And it's the combination. There's a bit of a rotating motion of the wrist, as you can see. Right? So it kind of goes down. Started with a knock. Started rotating a little bit, going down. And you get this crispy, snarry sound from your chuck. Later on, you can include it into a strumming pattern, such as down. Alright guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to click the subscribe button and check out my Patreon community. The link is in the description. That's where I'm giving weekly live classes, tutorials and releasing a bunch of tabs of my arrangements for covers and original songs. So I see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.